In this video I'm going to show you how to tie one of the flies that are featured in Les Johnson's definitive book on fly fishing coastal cutthroat trout. This is the olive squirrel and it was created by the late Lee Hibbler for Oregon coastal cutthroat. Uh, Mr. Hibbler said it was effective for both salt and fresh water and to my eyes it does look a little like a chum salmon fry which is probably why it works. Uh, I'm tying it like the original on a Daiichi Alex Jackson spay hook in size 7. These come in three different finishes and if you're going to fish this in salt then you're going to want to use the model 2052 which is the nickel one. So I'll put one of these in the vise. It's a beautiful looking hook. And my thread is uh, 8 aught olive green. I'm going to attach that right behind the eye and just cover the, the hook loop. I'll take it back about a third of the way, trim off the excess. Now I'm going to take some natural squirrel tail and cut myself a very small clump for the tail. the fluff out and that's all I need it's pretty sparse I'm gonna measure it and it's uh, very slippery So you need to bind that down tightly. And you can see that it's extending back about um, the length of the hook point behind the bend. Now I'm going to also tie in a piece of very fine green wire. And I'll start that on my side. I'm winding this all the way back to the uh, to the back of the hook and every now and again I'm going to stop and rotate my thread just to keep it flat. I want to create a very smooth body to wrap the wire on. and I'll stop just opposite the point of the hook. Now I'm going to write back again to the point at which I tied in the uh, the squirrel tail. And I'm going to take my wire and just taking my time just wrap that in uh, as near to touching turns as I can get. I've stopped about halfway along the length of the body and I'm going to trap the wire front and back and then I should be able to just twist that off goes now I'm gonna take about I think I've got five strands here of peacock curl I'll just cut off the ends flush and then tie them in working forward towards the eye
Now I'm going to make a loop in my thread, um, just a little less than the length of the peacock curl. Cross my thread over the loop, and then hold the loop along the top of the hook, and then just tie it down as if I was tying in a tail, right to the point where the peacock curl emerges. Get my thread back up out of the way. Now. I'm going to hold those strands of peacock curl along one side of the loop. I'm using my shepherd's crook dubbin spinner to just lock both sides of the loop together and trap the peacock curl. And then I'll just spin that loop and gradually uh, make a chenille out of the peacock curl. And now I can wind that for the front half of the body. And when I stop at the front, I'm going to leave myself enough room to attach hackle and wing about there. So probably a, a good eyes width. Now I've trapped the hole, and I'll trim it away. And that. And just tidy up the front a little bit. Okay, next I'm going to add some hackle. And uh, in the book, it, it didn't say what this hackle was. I'm guessing it was just olive saddle hackle. And when this is tied down, I want the tips of that hackle to go back at quite a, an acute angle and almost reach the point of the hook. So I'm tying it in by the butt. And I'm going to fold that stem back and tie that off. Okay, and I'll wet my fingers, stroke the fibers back, take one turn, two turns, three. I'm just going to bind that down so that all the fibers are pointing backwards. So it looks kind of like a throat more than a hackle. And that's just how I want it. Cut off that tip. Miss that bit. Okay, so now for some more uh, squirrel tail. And I want the length of my squirrel tail wing to um, to come to the same kind of length as the as the end of the tail. I'm using a bit a bit more than I'm actually going to end up with because some of this always doesn't tie down. It's just such a slippery material, and there isn't much room at the front of this fly to tie it. So I'm just going to offer that up to the to the hook. Take one turn around and then pull up tight. And yeah, I see I, I have lost some, but that's fine. I don't want this to be 
very full. That's looking like it should. I just build up a little bit of a thread head. And make a whip finish. thread and that's looking straight and I'm going to put some uh, solar airs uh, this is bone dry that I'm using to make my head I have a little bit too much on there just use my bodkin to um, to get rid of that excess. So I'll just give that a, a quick zap. And that's the Olive Squirrel. Thank you very much for watching and the best of luck to you.